Thank you, Jackie, and warmest congratulations to our breeding graduates. I would like to now introduce our fearless leader, our executive director, Laura Watamanek. Welcome to this first virtual and most amazing occasion. We are gathered here through the marvels of technology to celebrate and honor our 2020 graduating class and the work of our village this past year. And what a year it has been. I know I say that every year, but well, quite simply, 2020 takes the cake. Literally friends, usually we'd be wrapping up our ceremony, trying to dull the pads cold, uh, then enjoying a delicious piece of graduation cake. How on earth can I capture this year in just a few words and photographs? As they say where I'm from, it's a hard road to hoe. And yes, I made the staff put that up on the screen today. And like a hard road to hoe, it's been full of rocks and roots and sweats and tears tears of grief, tears of frustration with worries on how we were gonna make it all through this, tears of joy when we succeeded. And today, today we gather to celebrate the year of hard work and the countless efforts of so many. So what a better way to tell a story than through pictures. We've Zoomed, we've Skyped, we've FaceTimed, and we've texted. We've battled with gremlins and glitches and gizmos. We've tackled technology and had a few tantrums we've placed precious puppies by drive-through and by distance. We've canceled it all and we put it online. Okay, I agree, I am not a Dr. Seuss. So instead, I just want to take the time to thank each and every one of you for how you have persevered. When our gala was canceled and taken online, you showed up. The inaugural move event was supposed to be an in-person walk to raise $50,000. And in spite of this year's challenges, it became better, more accessible, more inclusive, and it raised a remarkable $100,000. You showed up. When our calendar sales opened, you pre-ordered like never before and showed up. When a volunteer needed a break, you showed up. When our staff needed help, you showed up. When we set a day to celebrate, you show up. Look at everyone watching this from all over the globe. All of our friends are gathered here today to help us celebrate. Team pads kept going. Many of our colleagues across the industry had to shut down all breeding and puppy raising programs. They suspended placements and laid off some of their staff. Some programs are still closed. And while this fills me with grief for them, it reminds me daily why I'm so incredibly proud of this team. Pads slowed down, but we never stopped. The team kept each other and our volunteers safe, but found ways to continue to do the work, to place the dogs, as you've seen with these amazing teams today. Usually we'd have just one valedictorian, but this year we opted instead to extend this honor to every single team by way of our weekly Tune In Tuesday series because, as Margaret said, they've earned it. They have faced this year with grace, humor, and perseverance. Thank you, Stormy and Bright, for kicking this off with our It Takes a Village series. There are many, many more stories to come, peppered in with puppies, of course. Not only will you be able to hear their journey and how their dogs have impacted their lives, you will also be able to ask them questions. This year has brought many challenges along with the losses. Sadly, we say goodbye to some of our dear people and our beloved dogs. It's been also painful to say goodbye to some of our staff this year and have others that are still on reduced work hours. But we've also witnessed the ferocious spirit of this organization. Our volunteers, there is nothing that they won't do, and with such grace and patience. They have stepped up to help in so many ways, putting their whole hearts into each and every task. Our donors, how you have come through this year. Financially, COVID has hit us all very hard, but time and time again, you have stepped up and exceeded our expectations with your generosity and passion. Our board, while this team has stood alongside us this year, faithfully supporting and regrouping as necessary. Our ambitious strategic plans for 2020, well, they were not canceled, but definitely we had to put them on hold for some months as we allowed our management team to roll with the dozens of punches that came our way. We thank the board for their unfailing support and assistance and look forward to implementing these plans in the months and the years to come. Our staff, well, they have been the rock and our glue and even silly pit putty sometimes. Um, they do whatever is needed. This job has never been nine to five, but COVID, well, not, not just COVID, 
This year we, we shall remember as 2020. It has thrown so much at them and they're still standing. Weary to be sure, but a team that loves pads and loves what we do, and they will stop at nothing to get the job done. I am simply so very honored and proud to work with each of them. Our clients, you are our ambassadors. You are the reason we exist. Thank you for this year, for your dedication to these amazing dogs, your words of support and encouragement, the remarkable efforts of pad superstars during the move event, we thank you all. So whoever and however you fit in this organization, please join me in recognizing team pads and whatever role you play, I thank you. All of this brings me to today. Today we celebrate and honor the graduating teams of 2020, many of whom have patiently waited for the perfect match. The entire PADS Village welcomes you, supports you, and wishes you success with your new PADS partner. You are now officially part of this family. Be prepared to be loved. Congratulations, graduates.